Hi everybody, it's Harvard Lawyer Lee. This is the video everybody has been asking about. Everybody's been asking for me to talk about the appeal of the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard case. I've been getting so many questions in the comments like, will there be an appeal? Will Amber have to put up a bond? Does she have enough to cover that? And if she doesn't, what happens? What's this going to mean for Amber and her claim that she wants to appeal? So I want to answer those questions today. I want to talk to you about the appeal in the Depp v. Heard case. So let's start with the first question. Is there going to be an appeal? We know that Amber wants to appeal. We know that because right after the verdict was issued, when her attorney, Elaine Bredehoff, went on the circuit talking in the morning talk shows, she said, Amber wants to appeal. We plan to appeal. Elaine Bredehoff said the exact same thing last week when the judge entered the judgment against Amber Heard. So we know that Amber wants to appeal, but there is one little thing getting in the way, and that's the bond. So let's talk about that. Now, under Virginia law, if Amber wants to avoid paying the judgment to Johnny right away, she has to post a bond. The bond will assure that she can cover the amount of the judgment throughout the appeal. It'll still be ready and able to pay Johnny in case she loses the appeal. The reason courts require that is because if they didn't, a party might just file a frivolous appeal and then they would go out and spend the money. They could give away gifts, take vacations, spend the money crazily. You get to the end of the appeal, which they never even thought they would win, and then there's no money left to pay the judgment. So to prevent that from happening, the, judge, the court wants to maintain the status quo. So they want to preserve that money so if the party loses the appeal, they still have the amount of money to pay it off. That way, there's no risk that they just spend it, ruin it. So And so, in order to do that, a party needs an appeal bond. The appeal bond has to be worth the entire amount of the judgment. It doesn't have to be in cash. The party could have enough collateral to cover it and then get a bond to cover the full amount, but they have to have that amount in some form. It has to be cash, it has to be collateral, they have to get the bond. So, and, and when you think about it, a bond company isn't gonna give somebody a bond if they don't have the cash to cover it. There's no reason for a bond company to do that. And here, there's a big problem for Amber Heard, and that's what Elaine Bredehoff went out and told the world. So let's talk to that. First, I wanna talk though about just how much does this bond have to be? Now, the statute says that Amber Heard has to pay for the performance or satisfaction of the judgment. And let's think through what that means. Remember, the jury awarded $10 million in damages to Johnny Depp plus $5 million in punitives, which the judge then reduced to $350,000 for Virginia law. So that means Amber Heard owes Johnny $10,350,000. Now, we, when we've been talking about the amount, we've been offsetting that against the amount that the jury awarded to Amber from Johnny, which was $2 million. So the offset amount is that Amber owes $8,350,000 to Johnny. But with the appeal, in my view, it's not gonna work quite like that. And the reason is that each party has the right to appeal the amount of the judgment against them. So Amber has the right to appeal the full $10,350,000. But Johnny also has the right to appeal the $2 million judgment against him. So that means Amber's bond has to cover the amount she could owe, $10,350,000, not just the amount she would owe if Johnny lost, because Johnny has the right to appeal that $2 million verdict against him. What could Johnny do? He could, of course, decide not to appeal. He could just pay that $2 million to Amber, but that's extremely unlikely, because if Amber's gonna appeal, so is Johnny. So it's much more likely that Johnny's going to appeal, he'll need to put up his own bond for $2 million, and then Amber's going to need to put up her bond for $10,350,000. That's what I think is likely to be the result. There's also 6% interest that runs from the date that the judge entered the order. That was June 24th. Now, why is it going to be hard for Amber to get a bond? Well, remember, Elaine Bredehoff went out on the talk show circuit, and she told the Today Show, for example... Amber can't pay that judgment. She said, oh no, absolutely not. 
when asked if Amber could pay it. So she's already said Amber doesn't have that kind of money. So how is Amber going to get a bond? Well, are there other ways to raise some money? Yeah, there might be. For example, apparently Amber's out talking about a book deal. Would she get enough money from the book deal to be able to cover this? Seems kind of unlikely, but who knows how much she's been able to shop that book deal for. Then maybe is Elon Musk good for it? Well, maybe to a billionaire, giving somebody $10,350,000 is kind of like the equivalent of loaning somebody your pocket change to go to the Coke machine. So maybe, maybe there are other ways. And here's an important question. Could the judge lower the amount? And the answer is yes. Under the law, the judge could lower the amount that Amber has to put out as a bond. Un the court can lower the amount upon the motion of any party for good cause shown. Now that means Amber has to make a showing. She can't just say, I want to pay less. How about it? She has to show that there's good cause for that. That is probably what Elaine Bredehoff was talking about when she told the judge that she wanted to go ahead and file some motions and get the court to rule on them. At the hearing, frankly, from what Court TV said, it didn't sound like Judge Ascarati was getting ready to do that. She, according to Court TV, was very no-nonsense, almost brusque with the parties. And you can imagine why. I mean, you have to figure that she is thrilled to get this case over and done because it has been clogging up her courtroom for years. And then there was the whole six weeks it's been a long journey for her. You can bet she wants this off the deck. She wants this out of her life. So she doesn't have a lot of reason to give Amber extra reasons and ability to appeal. There's really not a lot of incentive for her to do that. And so it's up to her to decide was good cause shown, which is a standard where Amber has to show something other than just, I want to appeal and I don't have the money. So how would that, just in general, how would the appeal work? Well, in general, the judge entered the verdict on June 24th and for 10.35 for Amber for $2 million against Johnny Depp. Under Virginia law, she keeps jurisdiction, the judge does, over the case for 21 days. That means if Elaine Bredehoff is going to file some motion, she better do it quick because the judge only keeps jurisdiction that long. After that... The parties then file a notice of appeal, and then they get a briefing schedule, and they file their briefs. The way it works is that Amber will file a brief, Johnny will file a response, and Amber will file a reply. In this case, because it's pretty likely that both sides are going to appeal, then you're going to have Johnny filing a brief, or not them, but also you're going to have Johnny filing a brief, Amber filing a response, and Johnny filing a reply. All of that takes substantial time. You're going to have probably a minimum, really, of 30 days between each of those. And then sometimes courts give extensions or people ask for more time. So the typical amount of time for an appeal would probably be expected to be a good year. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if this took longer. That's pretty common on appeal. Is settlement still an option? And that's a question a lot of people have. The two legal teams apparently met on Friday and they didn't settle the case. But that doesn't mean it's the last chance to settle it. A case can still settle on appeal. The parties can just agree to it. The best chance by far for the two parties to settle is now, today, before the appeal happens. Johnny could do anything from waive the payment to insist that it go to charity as long as Amber would agree not to appeal. Some kind of trade right now is their very best shot at making this work. So those are the answers to your questions about the appeal. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I would love to see you in my next videos.